We're now flying back to Oklahoma State University, OSU, for what is a great ritual football game. We're flying in your Gulfstream 550. You're crisscrossing this country selling the Pickens plan. Uh, you're running a business. You're 80 years old, plus. Well, well, wait a minute, when you said plus. Oh, you just celebrated your 80th birthday. In May. In May, yeah. okay, well, yeah. it's now October. Okay, I'm 80 plus. <laughs> exactly. You go, how do you do it? What are you doing? You could be on a yacht somewhere. I could be at Del Mar Country Club oh, teeing up. There you go, yeah. teeing up. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> on a course owned by your wife. That's right, and no, no green fees. <laughs> they, uh, so why are we running around the country uh, when well, you got all the money, you got a beautiful wife, you got everything that life could, you're in good health. What makes Boone do this? Well, it was, you know, I think when it, uh, when something has to be done, uh, that you, somebody has to step up and do it. And uh, this was one that nobody stepped up to, and that is, is the American people do not understand energy. And Congress doesn't either. That's sad, but they don't either. And so here I was, I understood it, and I saw the, uh, the predicament that the country was in, which now is, I'm satisfied is it, it is a crisis situation. When you're importing almost 70% of your oil, and you're not doing anything about the problem, you, t you move forward 10 years like you had the last 10 years and do nothing, you will then be importing 75% of your oil, and you'll be paying $300 a barrel.